Hi, my name is Tony. I'm the vice president of the Black Tusk Snowmobile Club. Uh, welcome to the AST course at the Alpine Learning Center. This is the best snowmobile clubhouse in the world. And uh, welcome and enjoy yourself. Hi, I'm Nico Weiss. I'm an avalanche educator. We're up here at Brome Ridge with the Black Tusk Snowmobile Club doing a level one avalanche course for machinists. I, I want you to really get this. 18 inches per hour is not an unusual amount of deposition in a leeward zone if things are just perfect. 25 kilometer per hour wind is considered the perfect threshold. If it gets extreme, it often flies up in turbulent suspension and doesn't come down in slides as much. That 30 to 45 kilometer per hour wind is perfect. And the drier the snow is, the looser that snow surface, the more available it is for transport by wind, and a phenomenon that we call redep, redeposition. It doesn't have to snow. Especially in the Rockies and further north, a reverse wind could take half of their snowpack, reload it overnight into a different aspect, and put it down into quite a hard slab. Uh, good afternoon, I'm uh, Doug Washer, I'm an uh, industry, snowmobile industry training consultant and uh, I'm just up here on the avalanche uh, course with Nico Weiss up at Brome Ridge and uh, the course is fantastic, Nico's a, a really animated instructor. Dave out here, we're just a day one with the AST level one with Nico Weiss and uh, Todd has just dug a fantastic pit showing us, um, it's my I guess third time working with Nico and helping him out and uh, each and every time you learn something new and that's what it's all about. We're going to go play in the mountains, make sure you gain that knowledge. Okay, it didn't just fail on top. No, that's the failure. Okay, it's, it's, that, shovel shoot. it's that one that they keep seeing, yeah. right? Which is a nice resistant wow. planer. That's incredible. Oh, 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 you hit oh, another one. Step that down was... into here, yeah. step right down to there. Yep. Yeah, and that's the buried surface horror from earlier in the month. So is it kicking out a bit? Yeah, it's yeah. coming apart. Mm -hmm. Boom. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at it. Yeah, that one's fine. Okay, there's the second layer. Yeah. So that's called stepping down. Mm -hmm. so, uh, now I've got two multiple What's burials. The split, though? Did we ever get a split? I did not get a split. Okay, I'm still following one number. Okay. In you go. Getting very close. Very close. 2.5, 2 point. There you go, close enough. Got it. SP, okay. 18. I'm getting 18. You know, you're close. And now I'm actually going to turn on the edge of the pie and I'm gonna walk 10 steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. 10. And I'm now getting 15. Getting close to the ground. 1.7, and right here. Hi, my name's Larissa. Wonderful, lots of information, myth busters, uh, gives you a much better perception of reality, uh, dangers, uh, it's just really informative and uh, a must have for your toolkit. We're doing an unsupported slope test, stability test here. We've got three deep layers. Onto your knees, folks. And away we go. <laughs> <laughs> and a crash test dummy. All that right. was awesome. We, we were digging we and um, saw all the layers. On this. And, and then, then we just tested and you could see where the slab broke on the weakest layer. It was really cool. So guys, Great. one more time.
Ryan, how was that? Oh my God, that's heavy. That was a little bit of snow. You could or get five minutes to this hole. When you have like, like serious ships. blocks of snow. Oh yeah. Exactly. You know, and you have to shovel. And if it's yeah, just you. Switch. I've seen you know? cornice blocks like a refrigerator you could not shovel that you had to lift off and remove, similar to the snowmobile, about the same size. say to people that haven't taken an AST um, one and uh, but are thinking about it or not thinking about it. You wouldn't swim in the light in the pool without a lifeguard. <laughs> Everyone needs to take the course. You want to live to live to ride your whole life not just for a few days. The AST level one with Nico Weiss and uh, it's been a fabulous course and uh, dumping all weekend so we're getting lots of uh, experience out uh, doing rescue scenarios and digging pits and doing some other things. If you're uh, a backcountry sledder or skier, you gotta come and check out the clinics up here at Brome Ridge. They do an awesome job. I, Bill Nico Weiss, who I've trained under as one of the best AVI instructors in North America and the world. He just, he gets it. He The way his teaching style works is more stories. You'll remember it um, with the important techniques behind them. and. Uh, you know, I think everybody in this course is going to be that much better off out in the backcountry. And so if you haven't taken a course yet, make sure you look up the Canadian Avalanche Association at avalanche.ca. Lots of wonderful guides on there that can take you through a course. There's an online course that you can that can help you even just learn a few things to start off. It doesn't replace a course. And to make sure you